Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel and welcome to Biloxi, Mississippi. Hi, I'm Nikki. And I'm Matt. And, and welcome, welcome to our unsettled journey. Matt and I are spending the day down here on the Gulf Coast in the city of Biloxi, Mississippi. Biloxi has a rich casino history, so you'll see a lot of big casino resort properties. But the first casino opened up in 1940. It was the Isle of Capri Casino. That property has since closed, but there are many big names here, such as Hard Rock, Harrah's, and Golden Nugget. You get a little taste of Las Vegas down here in the Deep South. But casinos are not the only thing that Biloxi is known for. They have lots of different attractions. They have museums, memorials, and lots of different restaurants in the area to go try out. The Biloxi Coast has 26 miles of white sand beaches for you to take in the sun and enjoy an awesome summer vacation down here. Some notable attractions are the Biloxi Bay Bridge, the Hurricane Katrina Memorial, and also MGM Park to go catch a baseball game. And we recommend visiting the Art Museum along with the Maritime and Seafood Museum. Both museums are nice to do when the weather isn't so nice, for example, when it's raining or when it's cold out, and they both highlight the importance of their history and the importance to the area of Biloxi. So now we're going to go ahead and take you along for the ride and give you a little bit of a tour of Biloxi, Mississippi. Speaking of one of the casinos, we're going to head over to one of them now. It's the Beau Rivage, which is an MGM property right here in the Gulf Coast. So for a taste of Las Vegas, we are here at the Beau Rivage. It's an MGM property with 1,740 rooms and suites. The property has a really elegant pool, multiple restaurants, as well as a sprawling casino, spa, multiple lounges as well. And we just finished lunch actually over at the Terrace Grill, only restaurant to be open at the time. It seems like a lot of the other places are only for dinner. We got both burgers, they had really, really great burgers. And it's a very, really nice interior to the casino. It's themed according to the season, which is really cool to see. It has an Easter theme. And the Terrace Grill has breakfast all day and is open 24 seven. So now this hotel is located right along the water. So you can book a room with an ocean view, which offers really picturesque views of the Gulf of Mexico. Because the hotel has such a sprawling casino, we're gonna head inside and we're gonna try our luck. Behind us you can see Biloxi's White Lighthouse. This lighthouse was constructed in 1848 and it was the first cast iron lighthouse in the south and has become really popular for withstanding the extreme winds and storm that was Hurricane Katrina. So right across, as you can see right here, this building is the Biloxi Visitor Center and it is definitely worth a visit. So now this is the starting point of the public beaches. The pier has been a little bit washed away due to the very hurricanes that came through the area. So before we mention about some of the other attractions like the museums and such, this area is what you will find when you search things to do in Biloxi. The lighthouse and the visitor center are definitely must-see attractions and it's right over here by the public beach so you definitely want to head over here, learn a little bit about the history of Biloxi before you go. Enjoy some of the sunshine on the white sand beaches. So we hope you all enjoyed our video and little city tour of Biloxi, Mississippi. And if you're ever down in the area, we highly recommend coming Coming here as there's a nice little stop along and a nice beautiful little hidden town so we do encourage you to also hit that big subscribe button and like this video it gives us a lot of support and we do appreciate it you can go follow us on Instagram at our unsettled journey to get more exclusive access about things that we don't post here on YouTube so we appreciate you watching and we'll see you all in Louisiana next week bye, bye.